Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. By the way, because XRP have a clear competitive advantage, the XRP Ledger is about to get its own native automated market maker, which would provide opportunities for the XRP community to earn passive money. Now, 31 US states have approved Ripple for public use. The potential role of XRP in bringing about the anticipated fourth industrial revolution will also be discussed. At last, we'll look back and I'll answer a question that's very relevant now, considering where XRP is. Stay with me, I'm almost done. If you want to find out more, I recommend watching this brand new video right away. If you're interested, the XRP ledger is constantly being updated thanks to persistent community efforts to include an automated market maker with the upcoming XLS 30D upgrade, which isn't widely anticipated. Asset trading on a decentralized exchange using an AMS eliminates the need for a central marketplace by connecting buyers and sellers directly. In this setup, transactions are settled with tokens from the liquidity pool, which have been pulled together from the contributions of other users acting as liquidity providers. A mathematical medical algorithm establishes the values of the tokens within the pool. The ANM within the pool also charges a trading fee from which the liquidity providers profit. The XRPL's native AM is a huge boon to the XRP community. Among these are the enhancement of XRPs and other assets liquidity, the availability of several trading pairings, and the possibility of passive income for users. Panis Mecca, a renowned member of the XRP community and financial advisor, has lately brought the AMM to light. He announced that the future native AM on the RPL would benefit the XRP community for the first time if they adopted the AMM. Members of the XRP community can earn income by either providing or trading for liquidity. The minimum return for LP tokens in ADA is based on the tokens contributed by Limited. Partners Each ANM instance's trading expenses are subject to LP clearance. By allocating tokens to pools with strong demand and low supply and selecting a reasonable fee rate, they can affect the pool's profits and the trader's interest in the pool. These LPS have the potential to offer passive income but must account for short-term losses. While some tokens and trading pairs may not be available on other platforms, those who utilize the XRPL's native AM as traders will have access to a broad variety of them. The XRPL also facilitates fast and cheap transactions, to their advantage. These traders can make a passive income by taking advantage of arbitrage possibilities across many pools and platforms to capitalize on price differences and profit potential. It should be noted that the XLS 30D amendment is not yet in effect and is still in the planning stages. The updated version of Rippling 112 will be available on September 11th. However, the addition of this clause will not make the update effective until the node validators have voted to do so. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell for notifications so you can be among the first to know about XRP-related updates. If the XRP community needed more encouragement before, they now have it. In this instance, the various licenses that Ripple owns across multiple American states are the key source of the bullishness of the XRP army. An influential XRP user recently tweeted that Wall Street bulls have been touting Ripple's regulatory certification from 31 US states. The influencer argued that having so many certifications provides Ripple and XRP a particular advantage because they are licenses for money transmitters specifically. Bulls on Wall Street argue that neither Bitcoin nor Ethereum can make that claim. The XRP influencer also highlighted the MTLS as a groundbreaking invention that helps XRP uniquely in the cryptocurrency sector, a benefit not experienced by Bitcoin or Ethereum. Because XRP MTLS allow the transfer of legal money, this is a huge deal for XRP and the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. Although some XRP backers agreed with the Wall Street Bulls point of view, others in the border crypto community disputed the generalization. For example, a negative comment was left after an XRP influencer claimed that Ripple had the licenses that Bitcoin and Ethereum lacked, even though the CEO of Bitcoin will undoubtedly come up with a license. 
The implication of the comment is that drawing parallels between Bitcoin's licensing requirements and Ripple's is incorrect. In contrast to Bitcoin, a digital currency that does not require third-party validation for transactions, Ripple is a payment company that does. Emphasize that there are other electronic payment service providers besides Ripple that have obtained similar levels of regulatory approval. They highlight that, like Ripple's, Flexin Network has 31 U.S. state certifications, in particular, the Flexin Network page on Ripple's official website confirms that the company has 31 U.S. money transmitter licenses. There are certain states missing from this list, including California, New York, Texas, and Florida. It's worth noting, though, that Ripple has already received regulatory approval in other nations. In June, as was previously announced, Ripple joined the exclusive club of businesses with Singaporean regulatory permission. However, that's not all of it. In particular, I'd like to stress how XRP has the potential to replace the transformation, the spark that oil provided for the manufacturing revolution. The opinion leader recently elaborated on this point in a tweet, noting the role oil's practicality played in the dollar's ascent. He believes XRP will have similar results because it is adopted by SMEs and financial institutions. In his opinion, XRP will be the new oil of the fourth industrial revolution. He also remarked on the potential of XRP as a tool for major financial institutions and corporations. He claims that XRP will become as important to combustion engines as oil was during the industrial revolution. With its ability to power production and transportation, oil was a game-changer for all businesses. It ushered in a period of rapid economic growth. Similarly, XRP is a novel and efficient means of international money transfer. This influential person believes that the utility of XRP will have a profound impact on the global financial system. The fact that XRP makes international payments more efficient and effective lends credence to his argument. According to him, the value of XRP is comparable to the impact of the internal combustion engine on the oil industry, and alt-SMEs, financial institutions, banks, and central banks, as well as all clearing houses, have the potential to become what the oil industry has become. The influential person realizes that the current XRP price is cheap, However, he insisted that XRP's low price wouldn't be a deal-breaker for the cryptocurrency's long-term growth. He thinks XRP's value will skyrocket once widespread corporate adoption occurs. He also stressed the U.S. Federal Reserve's determination to maintain its pattern of constant money production. He speculated that this might boost the appeal of his gold and XRP as long-term investments. The most pressing issue of the day is, according to his analysis, which digital assets will usher in the fourth industrial revolution. SEC filings from 2018 about XRP support the conclusion that the cryptocurrency is not a security. If you want to be among the first to know about any developments, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. Related to XRP in response to a memo from 2018 questioning XRP's non-security status, crypto advocate and attorney John Deaton has commented on AIX. To put things in context, the SEC enforcement lawyers who drafted the memo were looking into whether or not XRP met the criteria for a security at the time. The SEC's legal counsel did not recommend action against Ripple Labs, as stated by Judge Sarah Netburn. Although specifics of the memoranda have not been released to the public as of yet. As of June 14, 2018, the SEC lawyers did not suggest any changes. No determination about XRP being a security was reached in the letter. The document was a topic of debate during the weekend. According to Deaton, the document fails to disclose that XRP satisfies the Howey criteria. According to the advice of an XRP supporter, Deaton shot back that he had never made such a remark. I didn't mean to give the impression to Deaton that the document concluded that XRP is not a security. An attorney for pro-XRP has stated that he has not read the letter because of its privileged status. The SEC's Enforcement Council did not recommend any punishment for Ripple, as stated by Judge Net Byrne. 
Thus, according to Deaton, a letter did not conclude that XRP is unmistakably a security as of June 13, 2018, or else there would have been a call for enforcement or other action. He continued, didn't emphasize that it is unlikely for the commission to reach the conclusion that XRP was a security in 2018 and still let Ripple to carry out the currency sales in violation of the law. How could the executives of Ripple have known in 2013 to 2015 that they were acting irresponsibly by releasing it as a security? In 2018, legal experts struggled to determine whether or not the SEC is binding. You may recall that Chris Larson and Brad Garlinhouse, two executives of Ripple, were accused by the SEC of urging the company to sell XRP as a security. Judge and Alyssa Torres have scheduled the trial for the second quarter of 2024. Blackout dates for the next trial have been provided by the SEC and Ripple. This video has now come to a close, gentlemen. If you liked the video, please click the like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell. See you later, bye.